Hey, what is up, guys? It's Armin, and I'm back. Uh, so I'm going to do this one solo. I don't want to really get the guys all together to talk about, like, a 45-second clip, which doesn't reveal too much, although it does warrant a little bit of talking about. So let's just get straight into the Captain America Civil War TV spot from the Super Bowl. So with the first shot here, we see Captain America. He's looking, you know, a little bit confused. Now, I don't think this is a... Uh, you know, going in line with the next shot I'm going to talk about. I think this is just him when he's about to see Iron Man, when he actually, you know, takes like his uh, armor down to actually talk to him one on one. And speaking of the next shot, the shot I want to talk about here is, of course, Bucky, the Winter Soldier here, uh, you know, being hung on these wires and everything. He looks like uh, he's in a pretty bad place. Like, uh, you know, they captured him and put him back in. Now, Obviously, this leads a lot of questions and kind of uh, concerns about, well, what is this? Uh, I'm assuming that this is actually going to be flashbacks to the Winter Soldier program to some of the other times he was used. And, uh, you know, because we already see him, you know, and where he's exactly at when we saw the last trailer, you know, how he's found in the vice and everything. So I don't think this is related to that. I think this is a flashback. Next up, we go on top of a building where we see the Falcon and it looks like he's ready to jump almost from a, uh, you know, like kneeling down crouching position now. To me, he's not in this shot, but I am going to, like, I'll put, I'll put a bet on this. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, I'm betting he right now sent, uh, you know, his pet Red Wing, or Red Wing as it is in this. It's kind of a computerized bird on to reconnaissance and red wing gets back to him with a location which is why he ends up taking a dive and following to you know wherever the situation at hand is next up a shot of a captain america we see you know he's telling people to hold back as bucky's kind of uh standing right next to him we see someone is holding his hands up we can't really see who it is it's not black panther that i know for sure but uh you know if you just look at him it looks like this might be some sort of uh you know those military guys that were after him of course i don't think it's crossbones as people because uh you know cap would obviously not you know be like no no no, surrender to crossbones or whatever so i think this is definitely going to be the agency that was trying to do everything with the accords next up a quick shot of scarlet witch uh nothing really here to go much by we know that this is you know one of the scenes that falcon and crossbones are going to be involved no idea what she might be shocked at uh you know it's it's civil war i'm assuming someone is going to die which we'll talk about in a little bit uh so i, I mean we'll see how it plays out when we get here now next up a really really great amazing shot um you know robert downey jr as tony stark uh we see right there on his wrist he has like a little watch now if you look inside of it, it looks like there's a little mini arc reactor and what's even better is looks like the suit is going to fully materialize from within the watch now if it's the full suit we don't know if it's like you know some sort of nano technology or anything like that we'll have to find out maybe it's just a repulsor glove i mean who knows at this point but it's really cool and i really think it's absolutely amazing can't wait to see how the bleeding edge armor you know ties into this and speaking of Tony Stark, here he is with a gun that was just about to shot in his head, and it goes off, but it looks like he, you know, holds it away, and, uh, yeah, some pretty serious stuff here. I mean, if they're willing to, uh, shoot each other, you know this is gonna be serious and personal. Um, I really can't wait to see how it plays out. Uh, you know, I think in the trailer, the way it is kind, the way it is in this, it's definitely going to be Bucky doing this, so I don't think there's any sort of trickery or anything that's happening here. Next up, a quick look at Black Widow looking over the airport they were at. Obviously, everything is exploding. Now, Marvel t typically uh, hides stuff in final, you know, uh, trailers. All the way leading to the movie, they'll play around with stuff and see, so we don't know if maybe there's something in there. Maybe Giant Man is causing all this, and we just don't know because we can't see it. Uh, but it should be pretty awesome. Awesome and I really can't wait. Also, there are rumors that Spider-Man is going to be in this section of the movie too, so we'll see how that plays out. Now, next up, these two scenes I want to talk about, which they're the same because we've seen them from before. Uh, so we have Don Chino's, of course, uh, James Rhodes right there. It's Claire's day. He's hurt. He's on the ground. He's, you know, out of action. And we see Tony start kind of looking over him like he's really pissed now. I've been saying this for a while. Uh, I think Rhodes is really going to get injured in this movie. Maybe even die. Uh, to, to me, out of all of them, he seems like the most disposable one that's not going to go forward with his own solo franchise like you look at falcon you look at winter soldier you know bucky these guys can take over the mantle of captain america at some point iron man doesn't have his own movies so what exactly do you do with war machine i mean he's not going to get a standalone spinoff we know that for fact you know ant-man has more movies coming out so he's going to be okay so out of all of them if someone's got to die i have a feeling it's going to be him 
Next up, a Shaw of the Winter Soldier around some mountains. There you go, huh? Winter Soldier, huh? <laughs> never, never mind, I'm sorry, I'm fucking sorry. So I'm guessing this is after he gets, uh, you know, found in that vice or something. Maybe he goes running or something like that. Or maybe he has a separate mission that he's on. And this is one of the scenes in there. Maybe even a flashback to something that happened way back in the day. I mean, if they were to bring up that maybe it was Winter Soldier who assassinated Howard Stark, I think that could play even a bigger role of Tony, you know, absolutely losing his mind and pushing this, you know, whole friends against friends thing. So that would make a lot of sense. Now, next up, we have a scene of Captain America and Bucky. They're standing, you know, it looks like Cap is taking... Some real good time to try to protect his friend. You know, he's over his shoulders. They got like a soldier formation going on right here. And, uh, you know, this quite clearly, I think it's up until this point that I think the first Sean the Trailer that I talked about before would take place somewhere around here. But then, of course, you know, Iron Man comes into this scene too. And this is, I think, where they really confront each other, where it's obviously going to lead to that scene of them tossing the shield back and forth and really beating the hell up out of Iron Man. And finally, we are going to get to Team Breakdown. So we, of course, have Team Cap here, which we see the Falcon. We see Ant-Man in the Giant Man suit. We see Hawkeye. We see Captain America, of course, the leader. We see Scarlet Witch. And, of course, we see Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier. And opposed to them is the absolutely OP side. So we have War Machine, my favorite, uh, Black Widow, Iron Man, Vision, and Black Panther. So yeah, well, th yeah, they uh, they definitely outweigh the other dudes because you know these guys can uh, fuck you up as they got vision on their side. So should be pretty interesting to see how it goes. Obviously, I think we all suspect that Spider-Man is also going to take place. Uh, you know, go first with Tony. So we'll see how that goes. So overall, a pretty damn amazing TV spot. I love the hell out of it. I thought it was great. Uh, you know, I think the music worked with really it great, the chanting and everything. And uh, overall, super psyched. Yeah, let me know if you guys spotted anything, what you think about what I said in this video. So thank you for watching the video. And if you guys like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, check out some of these other great videos we have on the channel. Just click the annotation right there. It'll take you to them. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a good one.